hello all welcome back so in today's video we are going to discuss about how we can replicate or how we can copy a data from cloud sql so it can be mysql or postgresql or on premises oracle mysql or postgresql to a big query for analytical purpose so we'll be using a data stream for this demo so first we'll see what is a data stream and how we can use data stream to replicate our data in real time in a BigQuery. So data stream is data application service provided by Google. So this service is launched in 2021 and it is used for data replication from your transactional database to the BigQuery or a, in the form of file in cloud storage bucket. So it also captures the changes. So whatever the update inserts or deletes you are making into your source database, that is your transactional Oracle, MySQL or Postgres database and it will replicate the same changes into your destination BigQuery table in a real time or a near real time. So this supports MySQL, PostgreSQL and Oracle and it can be configured to work with the databases running on premises or a cloud. So you can use this service to replicate your cloud database on cloud SQL or you can use it on your on-premises database running in your on-premises server. So it was just a theoretical introduction about this uh, current demo we are going to do now i will go to cloud console and we'll see how we can set up this data pipeline to replicate your cloud sql or mysql data to a big query so i'll go to my cloud console now so i am on my cloud console so this is dev 001 project i'm using and i already have one cloud sql instance created with a mysql version so let me go to the sql so here I am having one instance dev db. Okay, let me open this and inside this dev db I have one database created. So let me show that also. Okay, so I have this manually created database app db. You can see the type is user that is I created this database and inside this app database I created one table. So let me show you the details of the data I have here. So inside this app database, I have country table created. So I have some sample data inserted in my country table. So I'm using a very small amount of data just to show you the demo. Okay, so I have this uh, table and I just inserted the details. So don't worry, even if I put any wrong details here, I just want any kind of data. So I inserted this data. So now let's uh, go to cloud console here so this is my a cloud sql setup so if you know how to set up a cloud sql you can refer my previous videos on cloud sql so currently i already set up the cloud sql instance so you can set it up within a five to ten minutes so no issue on that now i'll go to data stream so you can type simply a data stream in your search okay and manage cdc service cdc is nothing but change data capture so for me the api was already enabled so it won't ask me to enable api again so if you are using for first time in your project then you have to enable the APIs. okay so now let me click on a create stream here so i'll just starting my pipeline here just follow the steps so here stream name i'll give mysql to bq so it will automatically populate its stream id region you can pick any one and now source type you can see the options available so we have only oracle mysql and postgresql okay so i will use a mysql as i have mysql distribution in my cloud sql instance and the encryption i will keep a default destination type i will choose a bigquery because i want to replicate my data into the bigquery okay so that was a stream configuration that is source and destination as we go ahead it will ask us to configure the source and target or source and destination so connection profile name so i'll just give mysql stream okay so host name so you have to put host name of your sql instance so let me check let me open uh, another tab and i will get so currently i am using a public ip for my cloud sql instance and i am using authorized network 
so let me cancel stream from here in another tab okay and here this is my host ip so i'll copy this ip and i'll put here okay now username and password so i'll put i will use the root you can create another user as well here i will use root only okay now let me continue encryption type i'll keep none connectivity method so here we have three types of connectivity method we can use private connectivity vpc peering or ip allow list or forward ssh tunnel so i will use here ip allow list as i can put this ip is in my cloud sql authorized network now one thing to remember here you have to copy all these ip addresses inside your cloud sql's authorized network So if I will go to connection, I will show you. So if only you have IP in authorized network in Cloud SQL, then only you can connect to your that database from that particular IP. So here I have only one IP. That is my laptop IP and that's why I'm able, able to connect using the MySQL workbench. Now I want to add network. So one thing to remember, you have to add all IPs. Okay, so I will add one by one. So I'll add it quickly. So I will just give the name first data stream one. So these are all IPs we need to add. So I'll add all five IP. So I'll just pause video till the time I add all IP. I just don't want to waste the time here. So I added all the five IPs here. You can see and let me save it now. Okay, so meanwhile it is being saved. I will go to the further setting here. So I will click on continue. Now I have to run test. So here it should not fail your test, it should show all green. So let me see if it is saved. Okay, it is saved. Let me run test. If it is successful, it means our connectivity is fine and there is no issue in connectivity okay so test passed it means data stream is able to connect to our source database so now create and continue now we'll go to the next step so it will ask us to choose the details or the which databases we want so i'll choose only fdb i don't want the system table to be replicated in bigquery i just want application tables so i'll choose fdb and rest of the details i'll keep continue so here are few settings like if you want to exclude any of the tables or anything we can do here we can exclude columns also if you think is there any sensitive column and you don't want to replicate in bigquery you can exclude that column also you can simply click select columns and you only get your required column using this checkbox okay and the backfill it means if you are doing it first time you have to first fill all your available data and then it will keep monitoring your change data so whatever the data will be changed it will replicate in your bigquery so i'll click on continue and now i go to define the destination so here profile name i'll just give bq dest okay that means bq destination and i'll create and continue so whatever the profiles we are adding as a source profile and destination profiles it will be available in this connection profile for further use so if you want to create multiple jobs the same profiles will be used now here we have to set okay continue here we have to choose a data set for each schema so i have app db so i want app db should be used as a single data set and there will be multiple table inside that a uh, data set so or we have another option to use different single data set for all schema but i will go with data set for each schema and i will give the prefix so prefix i want replication 
MySQL. Okay, so all data set will be created using this naming convention RP underscore MySQL and then the name of the database that is AppDB. Now I'll go ahead. So here one thing you have to remember. So there is one option here staleness limit. So if you are replicating your data for analytic purpose to create your BI application on top of your BigQuery and the data freshness is not that much critical. That means even though the latest data is not replicated in real time and the 15 minutes interval is fine. So it can be used here. It will save as per this Google documentation. It will save your cost and it is efficient. But your data is too critical that you want the amount data change in source database should immediately reflect in your target data set then you should use the lower staleness limit okay so i did some troubleshooting or a poc on this and even though i change this uh, staleness limit to five minute or zero second it sometimes it takes time to replicate data but it definitely replicate your data within a 15 minutes so that is we can consider a good amount so i'll select zero seconds here and we'll see how much time it will take to replicate whenever we are making any changes now let me continue okay now here you can see the stream details source details and destination details so i need to run validation so whenever we are running validation it will check into end connectivity so i'll show you and it will show all green status here then only our stream will work exactly fine see so everything is green that means we are good to start our so here i'll start so it will start our data stream job or kind of uh, streaming and it will check your source data and try to replicate in your big query so if i go to a big query here so currently here a no data set available apart from this bq rnd okay so here only a bq rnd data set is there nothing called starting from rp which we have given as a table prefix now let me go to our job streaming job okay here it is started Okay, first let me go to home page and I will show you from start. So this is our stream job, data stream job. Okay, or not a job, it is referring as a stream only. So this is our data stream. Let me open. So it is still starting. So if I go to monitoring or object, okay, here it is not displaying anything so we'll wait for some time till the time it reflect any data here okay now you could see it is running so let me go back now status is running so let me click on this okay monitoring object so this is running you can see data processed zero okay it is running now let's refresh bigquery and we'll see any data set or table created here okay now you can see rp mysql which is the prefix and fdb which is our database name this data set is created here let me see the table yes table is also created here the country table and the column you can see we'll see if the data is there so it is saying and this bigquery table is being used by change data capture and this preview last updated 21 21 so this is one few seconds before it updated let me try to query this table if we can see any data okay so let me run and you can see all data is updated here so all 
data whatever there was cloud sql is copied to your bigquery now what i will do i will try to insert some data here so i have some insert statement so we just instead of japan now i will put put a russia here okay capital will be moscow and language I'll put Russian. I will insert this data. Okay, one row inserted, and let me validate if data is here. Okay, now this Russia is inserted here, and let me see how much time it will take to replicate in BigQuery. Okay, now currently you could see it's still not replicated in a BigQuery. So that's what I was saying. It won't replicating in exact within few seconds. So we'll wait for some time and we'll see how much time, how many minutes it will take to replicate the changes. Let's execute a query again. Yes, and you can see the data is here Russia so it took almost 4 to 5 seconds and that is almost real time so whatever the changes we are making it is replicating in real time so let me try to delete one of the rows so you just type delete from country where country underscore id is equal to so we'll delete italy or italy let's see okay, it is deleted the so first step is i'm going to commit it okay and we'll see how much time it will take to delete quickly from here okay, it is still there so just wait for a second so it's around 3 to 4 seconds so this is still here let me delete okay yes and you can see the changes is replicated here so even though if you have multiple databases in multiple columns the tables will show here one database will reflect the one data set as per the stream setting okay. and for this video I hope it is clear for you how we can replicate a data from mysql or postgres sql cloud sql or oracle to a query in a real time so if you have any questions or facing any issue while creating your data pipeline using data stream let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer you that. So I'm also creating the steps for this on a medium blog and I'll share this medium blog link in the description. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again.